Hi Libra and welcome to your general love reading for July 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. You can book a personal reading with me. And if you are interested, you can find all that information in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in general readings, okay? And this one is general. So. Let's see, Libra, what is going on with you and another person here that is on your mind for July 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see. Starting off the reading, we have the Ace of Wands crossed by the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> okay, Gemini had this same card in the exact same position here, which is the challenge position, actually. All right, so there's something here. There's um, like this energy of a new beginning or of uh, coming back together with somebody. There's a lot of passion here. For some of you, it could even be like a lot of sexual energy. But it's like that, taking action on that or that actually happening is creating a lot of stress for somebody, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, possibly even fear. Let's see, your energy, we have the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Libra, what's going on here? I feel like you're not, you're not really feeling your best at the moment um, concerning this connection. Um, it feels like, you know, almost like you're grieving this or like there's a lot of sadness here, maybe even some guilt for some of you, but mostly I'm seeing this as a feeling of sadness, sadness, and then also just feeling trapped, feeling stuck. Um, it's creating a lot of pain for you, but let's see what's going on with the other person. There's a reason why these messages are coming through. Um, for the other person, we have the Knight of Swords, the Empress and the two of wands okay so you might be dealing with somebody who is a little bit wishy-washy or who's a little bit in and out um this is definitely somebody who does see you as their empress this is somebody who does um deep down want you desire you they see you as either very respectable or they have you up high on the pedestal, but I feel like they're, it's like there's something here where they're not 100% giving this connection their all. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the moon. Okay, so Pisces energy. Something is being hidden. I feel like there might be some fear that's involved here in this, in this dynamic, but we'll see. Let's clarify. I don't want to say too much <laughs> just yet. I want to clarify these. All right, let's see that Ace of Wands with the Nine of Swords. The High Priestess, the Hermit, and the Ace of Wands again. Wow, there's a lot of holding back here. Um, it could even be that somebody has ghosted the other person. Um, I would say, I, I feel like it would be maybe the other the other person here, but it could, it could be either way, okay? It really depends. Um, it's creating stress. It's creating stress actually for the both of you, like even for the person who has pulled away or who is holding back, not expressing themselves, keeping quiet, keeping their distance. It's creating stress for them as well. Um, and that's because, I mean, Ace of Wands twice. This is somebody who is really feeling this energy, really feeling this drive, really feeling this magnetism, and for whatever reason, there's holding back, keeping to themselves, disappearing, being quiet, being hidden. Um, <clears throat> it almost feels like this person is like invisible. Hmm. All right, let's see, Five of Cups in your energy. Judgment and the King of Pentacles. A 
okay, very, very specific message that's only going to be for a very small group of you. For some of you, you may have recently found out that this person is committed to someone or something else in a way where you know you you didn't know about this before so that might be a part of what is creating this sadness for you um, you may have found out something you know uh, maybe that this person is getting married or got engaged or um, got a new job that they need to transfer to another city or state or something um, a pregnancy just something Okay, so that's going to be for, for a small group of you, okay? Very specific message. For others of you, there is still something here that that either you're discovering about the other person or even just about the connection. It's, it's almost like this sadness or whatever it is that has happened that is creating the sadness for you. It's like a, almost like a wake-up call for you. Like it's a very big trigger and it's not an easy one. It's not an easy one, but it's there to help you find your own stability. Okay, and for some of you, obviously, actually the second message is, I'm getting for anyone who this reading is resonating for, the first message is going to be for some of you, but the second message will still be for you, even if the first message here resonated that you found out something about the other person. Okay, it, it's still, it's meant to trigger you in order to help you find your own stability here. And I know it's, it's not very comforting to hear that when you're in this kind of an emotional state, but yeah, it's tough, but you're going to get through it. You are going to get through this, Libra. All right, let's see the Eight of Swords. The King of Swords and the Tower. Yeah, a very big trigger that's making you feel like, you know what, like this is a dead end. Um, there is no resolution now. There is no figuring this out. Like this is just done. This is just over. And to be honest, I feel like you're meant to feel that way. Like, and I know that sounds harsh, but it's almost as if only when you feel like, you know what, this is done. And then you feel that that pain of that that's when you can actually find your own stability and become more self-reliant more self um, independent and that's healing sometimes it's like you know like when a wound um, heals but it doesn't heal in the right way or like um, if you have like a muscle tear and then you know the fibers they reconnect but they re they don't reconnect in a in the straight way that they are meant to and they reconnect like just um, all mixed up it's like you need to in that case you need to re-injure the muscle you need to reopen that wound so that then it can heal properly and I feel like that's what's actually happening here um, there's it's like there's some kind of a wound um, from the past or something it never healed properly and so it needs to be reopened in order for it to heal properly this time. And you're getting that assistance. And that's why I'm telling you, you will get through it. Because now you're going to heal properly. And that's just going to, you know, help you find that stability and never have this, this type of a trigger happen again. Because now it's going to heal properly. Libra. Wow. Let's see, I don't even want to clarify that Three of Swords because I feel like the message that was meant to come through did, so I'm just going to leave it at that. That that pain is there for a reason, as I said, all right? Um, it's so that you can come out being stronger, so you can be like this King of Swords here. You're going to find that stability with the King of Pentacles and also be standing really, really strong, really empowered, really independent, all right, within your own self. But it's like in order for that to happen, that tower has to happen first. Which is you feeling like there's no way out, like there's no resolving this, that there's no getting over this or, you know, whatever is the case for you. But you will, okay? You will. Let's see, what is going on with this other person here? Let's see this Knight of Swords. The Six of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so this person seems to be a little bit um, in and out. I feel like they're they're doing their own thing. Again, it feels like they're kind of um, keeping their distance. But at the same time, it's like they're finding their own self as well through this. And, and I know it doesn't seem like it at all. But this is somebody who is also working on their own um, independence or working on their own like sovereignty in some way. But it's like, I feel like that's hidden underneath some kind of like erratic behavior. So you can't see that. You can't see what's happening underneath that behavior. But that's what's happening. Let's see the Empress. The Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely wants this. Um, I mean, the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Um, this person has a longing for you. This person wants a reconnection with you, even if they're the ones who are keeping their distance, which again, I'm not really sure who it is because I feel like you might also be holding, um, keeping your distance as well. So I don't know who's um, hiding <laughs> here, but... I'm definitely seeing this person wanting this connection with you, um, wanting it even, you know, long term, but they want it to be stable. So I feel like they want you to be stable, um, either consciously or subconsciously. I don't know how much where they are of this, but their higher self definitely, whatever it is that is happening, it's happening because it's helping you to find your own stability, as I said before. So they definitely want that. They definitely want this connection. I feel like there's a lot of nostalgia here that they have for you. Let's see that two of wands. The seven of swords and the nine of wands. Yeah, so they're working through something here. Um, I see them holding back a little bit. Even though they don't want to, that's the thing. Even though they don't want to, but they are moving forward. They are moving forward. I feel like they're overcoming some other challenges in their life that are not related to you, but then they, you know, affect their behavior towards you. So they're working through that, and that's why they're holding back. That's what's at the root of them um, either just waiting or just not really taking much action at the moment but it's not that they don't want to all right the seven of swords is telling me that 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 stalling is a little bit deceptive it's not really what they want to be doing but there's something here that they need to push through and work through let's see the moon for the potential outcome here Ooh, the Magician, the Eight of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's just a lot that is being hidden um, at the moment, especially in terms of what is being manifested underneath all, all of this surface. There's a lot that is happening. There's a lot of movement and a lot of energy and action happening beneath the surface. It's like, it's like this action, this movement is being hidden underneath what seems to be like a dead end or some kind of a stalling. So really, really interesting. Um, it's just not meant to be shown just yet but things are being manifested here. And I feel like what it's all leading up to is a lot more stability, a lot more groundedness. No more flimsiness, no more shakiness, no more like um, emotional roller coaster. It's just, okay, being, being grounded, basically. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's hard at the moment, but it's moving in a positive direction here. I feel 
like you're doubting this. Um, you're doubting this a lot, but there is action happening here. There's movement, all right? We're, I mean, we're moving from that high priestess and hermit, which is a lot of like um, holding back energy, right? And secretive energy. And we're moving towards the magician and the eight of wands. That's a lot of manifestation, making things happen, bringing things to reality. So that it's just hidden from you at the moment. <clears throat> okay, Libra, so yeah, it's all going to be okay. It is all going to be okay, and you are healing in the right way this time. All right, let's see. Final message. <laughs> the answer is yes. So if this resonated for you, if there's something you've been thinking about um, or questioning, the answer is yes. All right, so just take this one as it resonates for you. All right, Libra, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.